And that we have to start with Annalyn McCord. Annalyn McCord, if you don't know who she is, guys, she's the one who does the cups thing. She's a singer, actress, very beautiful girl, also an actress. Keep that in mind. Let's watch her way to deal with this conflict by writing a poem to Vladimir Putin and pop posting it on the internet. Dear President Vladimir Putin, I'm so sorry that I was not your mother. If I was your mother, you would have been so loved, held in the arms of joyous light. Never would the stories plight the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of nations sitting peaceful under a night sky. If I was your mother, the world would have been warm, so much laughter and joy and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul stealing pain that the little boy you must have seen and believed and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel, unjust world. Is this why you now decide no one will get the best of you? Is this why you do not hide nor away shy from taking back the world? It was it because so early in life, all that strife wrapped your little body with fear. If I was, I can't, I, I can't take anymore. Just stop it. Please. Honestly, I tried. Just stop it right there. That's enough. Um, Honestly, she sounds more eloquent than President Biden and Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> True. I would, I'm going to glass half full that. What do you guys think of her beautiful poem? I can't believe he actually may have seen that and decided to still continue with attacks <laughs> on Ukraine. Like, I don't know how she didn't change his mind. No, it's, 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 it <laughs> must have just been a language issue. I can't think of it. <laughs> Are we not the most, in, like, it's just like everyone's stepping up to the plate to embarrass us more. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's not enough that we have our, our leaders, just, you know, every day that President Biden tries to compose a sentence. It's embarrassing. But now we have the actors and the actresses writing poems, if I was your mother. Like, this I would find to be weird if I was a three-year-old and it was actually my mother, right? I'd be like, why are you writing poetry to me, Mom? This is weird. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's weird that she was actually serious. Yeah. You know, I thought this was satire, but I, I really do think that she honestly took the time to write that <laughs> in, in, in hopes that it would convince anybody yep. to do anything positive. But I think it's very weird. And these people are out of touch with reality, for yeah. sure. Yeah, this is, this is what Hollywood is. I mean, right. they're just, they act all the time. And this looks to me like one of those drama classes, like when you go to drama school and you're on stage and you're sitting in one chair and like the lights are low, <laughs> and you, and then your teacher tells you, marvelous, Adeline, marvelous. <laughs> um, but this was embarrassing. <laughs> Not actually the worst take, though. Oh, no, no. No. So actually, I love this next one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, she is me, secretly. Joy Behar, I never thought, <laughs> sister, that I would feel you more in a moment, but this is what she had to say about the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. We're talking yeah. about five million people yeah. that that are going to be displaced. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's heartbreaking to hear what is going to happen. Yeah. Well, I'm scared of what's going to happen in in Western Europe too. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just you plan a trip. You want to go there. I want to go to Italy for four years. I haven't been able to make it because of of uh, the pandemic. And now this, you know, it's yeah. it's like who's gonna what's going to happen there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. She does not care. I mean, I, I don't know what a better way to say it. Like, while people are going through such a traumatic situation, she's only thinking about her vacation. And it's apparent. These people, and if, if anybody on the right would have said anything close to what she yeah. has said, oh. they will be drugged right now mm -hmm. through the mud as, a, you know, a Nazi or something. So I think it's embarrassing for her to do that, but it, her true colors have come out. It's not shocking. It reminds me of, um, I think it was Kelly Osborne, either on The View or The Talk, when talking about Trump and illegal immigration, was like, well, where are we going to get our maids from? Yeah. Like, if they close the border, who's going to clean our toilets? Yeah. And so it just shows how out of touch these celebrities are of, like, they lecture us on privilege, and it's like that's where her thought process is. Like, oh, no, my fancy vacation to Italy. Oh, no, poor me. Yeah. It's... The hypocrisy is insane. I mean, personally, I love raw, unfiltered elitism. I think it's beautiful. It's like manuka honey. It's just, it's just raw. It's unfiltered. It's good for you. Sometimes just hear her say it. And she genuinely looks scared, by the way. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sympathizing, but she looks scared. She's like, I haven't been to the Amalfi Coast in three years. <laughs> Literally years.